Hey guys, it's Nadine. Today we're going to do a little review and a little tutorial, quick tutorial, on these um, tag punches from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to give you the exact name and the numbers in the description box below in case you guys are interested in ordering them. Um, these are called, one is called the Scalloped Tag Topper Punch and the other one is called the Angled Tag Topper Punch. Again, I will list everything in the description box below if you guys are interested. Also, a link if you guys are interested in purchasing. So, let me just share with you guys this. I was excited to purchase these. I showed you guys these in a haul that I did from Stampin' Up. Um, <clears throat> what this is, is it's one of those uh, very convenient little tag punches that has a little lever here. If you push it up, that's how you open the punch. So that way you can store it very compactly. So see that? It actually turns out to be very small. But when you open it, there you have it. And the same goes for this one too. So this area right here is a two in, is two inches, okay? So whatever paper you use, and I'm going to use very basic paper for this tutorial and this review, you want to cut it down to two inches so that it fits in here. So what I did was I just took regular cardstock and I cut it down to two inches. Now this thing <clears throat> is as simple as um, cutting down your paper and then putting it in here. Now let me just show you guys and this is going to be a basic one and I will show you guys later on all the cute little things that you can do with this but for now I'm just going to keep it simple. Um, but you just go ahead and slip your paper in here your two inch paper and then make sure that it's flush with the um, con you know with the thing under here and then you go ahead and punch and it gives you these cute little edges right along with the little hole already so that it makes a cute little tag and this is a four this was a four inch size tag so meaning this edge to this edge I measured to be four inches I do believe that's really the perfect tag size you can make it as long or as short as you like I have other sizes here that I'm going to show you guys so this one happens to be a four inch this one's going to be a three inch and I we're just going to do it again put it in here look how simple look at how cute see that so 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 cute perfect for gift tags um, I do a lot of racks so this is going to be perfect for my racks because sometimes you know I'm just lazy I don't want to cut out a tag on my silhouette I don't want to take out my Cricut and cut out a tag um, I do have some tags that I pre-buy from uh, Michael's in the $1.50 bin, but sometimes those get old too, you know, because I want to just change it up. I want to use different paper, whatever. I want to make use of the paper that I already have. Uh, so this is a perfect thing. Now this right here, this is the smallest one, and this is actually a two-inch punch, um, two inch size tag, and you can do the same thing. Stick it in there. Now this is a little tricky because it is a little shorter, but you stick it in there, you kind of hold it at an angle, and then punch. And then kind of shake it so that it comes out. And it's a little stuck, but that is maybe two inches is not the most ideal situation to make a tag. <laughs> Um, live and learn. Nope, there it is. Okay, so this one's a little tricky because it is shorter. Um, it does actually, I guess, the length from here to here is actually two inches. So when you get ready to take your tag out, it's going to be a little tricky, but it can be done. And if you check this one out, it's a little bit ombre color because uh, I left it out close to uh, one of my windows and then it kind of faded, which is kind of cool. But anyway, the rubbish or the uh, garbage from the punch comes out at the bottom. All you do is just sweep it and dump it. And then to store, again, you close it tight and then click the little lever and there you have it for nice and easy storage now I store my punches on a uh, Ikea towel rack which I will give you guys a glimpse of at the end of this video but uh, let's get on to this one and again this is called the scallop edge one um, just go ahead and unlock the thing uh, unlock the lever and again this one is a four inch uh, cut down to two inches this way and four inches that way stick it in here Punch down, easy peasy. Look at how cute this one is. Oh, I do believe that this one might actually be my favorite one. Um, let me show you guys something too. So you don't only have to punch one side. Say you wanna make something, you can stick it back in here, punch the other side, 
and make a cute little label thingy, okay? So look at how cute that is. You can use this for your project life. You can use this on a gift. You can run some ribbon through here. Uh, let me grab some really quickly so I can show you. Hold on one, one Here's second. some Stampin' Up! ribbon. And this is actually called Pumpkin Pie ribbon. This is not exactly the ribbon that I would use for this, but I had it close by, so I grabbed it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what can be done, which, again, like I said, I will be back to show you guys more of my little ideas that I have um, for this thing. So all you do is you take this, you would run it through one side and up and through the other side. And then you could wrap a gift and put it on whatever, decorate it, whatever. See? Cute, right? Um, so that you could do for that and you could do the same thing for this one as well uh, let's see run this thing through here oopsies yeah let's unlock this first before anything else um, okay so wait. why is it not oh because I didn't have it all the way in yeah make sure you have it all the way in there you go and there's another tag that you can use with just different edges See how cute that is? Okay, so now we're gonna do, uh, this is what, a three inch size, stick it in. So cute, I just really love this one. I think this one has to be my favorite by far. Now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking about something because I've seen this done on YouTube. Uh, a couple of other people or many other people, the Stampin' Up! ladies have done it, but if you wanted to put, you know, like a little candy, candy thing in here, you could just take out your scoreboard and Put some scores score marks in here and I don't have to be precise I mean I could if I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys but I'm not really looking to do a tutorial right now so but see I'm just I want to do something with this and I'm just gonna go ahead and score it here and then I'm gonna go ahead and score it here and I could fold this thing up and it could easily be like a little treat thing. Put a little treat thing in here. It could be a cute little purse thing on my jiggy. Look at how cute that is. Like the possibilities are really, really endless. So, needless to say, I love these punches. And as I've told you guys, I really love this one. Um, because, I don't know, there's just something about this cute little edge that really, 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 I just love. So again, I'm going to link for these two punches from Stampin' Up! in the description box below. If you guys are interested, check it out. Also a link on where you can purchase. And um, I will be back later to show you guys all the fun things uh, that you can do with this punch. And I hope you guys had fun watching my video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.